At present, the anatomy and physiology of a blood vessel is taught in lectures and online using 2D microscopic images and diagrammatic representations of a blood vessel, which show an artist's impression of the various layers. In more recent years, there has been an increase in the use of animations to show the anatomical structure and physiological processes of a blood vessel. These animations are simple, diagrammatic visualisations that do not correspond to reality. This animation shows an accurate 3D model that was created using real data from a mesenteric artery of a mouse. The tunica adventitia is the outermost layer of a blood vessel. It is a sheath of connective tissue which contains nerves and several other cell types. In smaller arteries, the adventitial layer contains pericytes, which wrap around the vessel and are thought to have contractile properties. The tunica adventitia is separated from the tunica media by a sheet of loosely woven elastin called the external elastic lamina. The tunica media is composed of a layer of spindle-shaped smooth muscle cells. They are arranged in a helical fashion, which makes the vessel more durable under high pressure. This layer provides the vessel with mechanical strength and contractile power, which helps maintain blood pressure. An increase in nitric oxides will cause the smooth muscle cells to relax and the vessel dilates, reducing pressure. Conversely, an increase in calcium causes the smooth muscle cells to contract, which causes the vessel to constrict and increases the peripheral resistance. A second sheet of elastin, called the internal elastic lamina, separates the tunica media from the innermost layer of the tunica intima. This 3D model allows us to see the fenestrae that appear in the internal elastic lamina. These are the site of myoendothelial junctions whose size may change during hypertension. The tunica intima contains a flattened sheet of endothelial cells which are imperative for vascular function. As blood flows through the vessel, it creates sheer stress on the endothelium. This increases the intracellular calcium concentration and activates the enzyme endothelial nitric oxide synthase to produce nitric oxide. Since nitric oxide is a gas, it can diffuse from the endothelium to the smooth muscle cells. To do this, it must pass through the internal elastic lamina. This 3D model shows that the elastic lamina contains fenestrae that lie directly beneath the endothelial cell. They are thought to contain the myoendothelial junctions that allow nitric oxide and other vasoactive molecules to diffuse freely between the two cells. Once inside the smooth muscle cell, nitric oxide causes an increase in the production of cyclic GMP, which results in the muscle relaxing and the vessel dilates, lowering blood pressure.